welcome everybody to another session of the Yeshiva Classroom, take number 477. And this is being recorded on uh, July 2nd, 2024. And we have a very interesting program for you. Uh, and to start off, we want to involve everybody in the program. And this is a Torah chain message. A Torah chain message. Just like chain letters are sent, they used to be sent uh, very frequently, uh, but we got the letter and uh, we signed it and we passed it on. This doesn't involve money whatsoever. All it involves is a chain of people who will pass on a Torah message to the next person. And by so doing it, we will unwittingly involve ourselves in learning a sentence of the Torah, and we will involve others in unwittingly learn a sentence from the Torah, because we have to prepare it. We have to give it over succinctly. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Um, you know, um, there's, there's a, there's a Pusik uh, in, in, uh, in Leviticus, I think chapter 19, uh, that says, you should love your neighbor as yourself. You should love your neighbor as yourself. Well, sometimes a neighbor um, doesn't have the, the best characteristics uh, to, to love them, and we see faults and other things that uh, make it uh, difficult. So, but if we look at ourselves carefully, we may find some bad habits that uh, we are uh, doing. And just like we gloss over those bad habits because we love ourselves, so we should look at our neighbor and our friend who may have some bad faults that are obvious, but we have to look over them and see the main points uh, of his character, the goodness. And that's how we should uh, treat this sentence. We should love our neighbors as ourselves. Just like we love ourselves, so we're going to love our neighbors. And looking over that, uh, uh, those bad points. Because we all have some, let's face it. Um, so, if we can start this chain letter, you know, uh, it's just been going for about a couple of weeks, and, and some of the people uh, work at the delivery of this very short, simple sentence. Other people, uh, I, I see, have forgotten some of the uh, key points that we have to look at ourselves and, and apply it to uh, 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 our neighbors uh, and uh, see to it that they are... Uh, um, accepted and liked because we have some faults too and so we have to look over their faults so let's let's start that chain letter a uh, chain message a Torah chain message and, um, and if, you, if you're comfortable and you think it's a good idea and you like it do a few of them to your friends and even non-observant people, because it's, it's applicable to everybody, even to Gentiles. So, it's important that we get this letter, message, chain going around and around. And we can do our part by uh, spreading Torah, by spreading uh, Torah, Torah. Now, uh, it's a very important point. Now, I want to go into Lemach. Lemach, uh, it, it, in Bereshis, this is a very important uh, subject. Uh, Lemach 
in 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 Genesis um, was the first one to take two wives, and he had children that were not taught, and as a result, emphasized things that were not so important. Let me let me explain. Again, there are two lemachs in the Torah. One lemach is the uh, father of Noah, the righteous Noah. The other lemach uh, was, uh, was a descendant of Cain. And he had two wives, and he had three children. And the Torah goes into detail to give us the application or the, the work that these children were involved in. And you have Yabal, Yubal, and Tublakayan. Yabal, Yubal, and Tublakayan. Now Tublakayan was a, uh, a research uh, metallurgy and he uh, created many things and out of metal including the bed that Og, Melech Aboshan, slept on, that's included in, in, um, in, in the Torah, to show that he customized furniture. Og, the giant, was, was uh, nine amos tall, which uh, translates into 13 feet. So in order to, to make a bed, you need people, a uh, skilled craftsmen to do so. And Yabel was a businessman. He um, invented the portable tent so that the people, the grazers, the shepherds could, could move around to different pastures and, and at the same time didn't have to return home every night. So Yabol and Tublakain teamed up and they created many products including swords and, 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 uh, and, and weapons of war but also for consumption for the individuals butter and guns. They, they created a, a great deal of, of, uh, of wealth. They, they created a great deal of wealth. And people saw this. And, and instead of uh, working on a spirituality, they, they went in and, and created household products and different objects out of metal and and Yavo was a, a businessman and he he spread this uh, consumption of of uh, these goods all over all over the civilized world and as a result people gravitated toward this lifestyle and to top it all off you have Yuval another one of the brothers who invented the uh, wind musical instruments or pleasure. So that combination was very appealing to the masses and they forgot all about Adam and his instructions and the people forgot about spirituality, went downhill, and as a result, uh, entertainment was high, uh, and, this, and, and they, they went to all kinds of, of entertainment with uh, U-Bolt inventing these wind instruments, and it, it, it was uh, something that uh, wealth accumulated, and as it says in, in Genesis, they, they took off 
they took the, uh, the women of the lowly people and promiscuity and all kinds of immorality took place and, and it just slided right downhill the whole humanity and, and de-emphasized spirituality the oneness of god until noah took the scene and and uh it was given was given a a, a charge of seven mitzvahs commandments of noah which are included in the um, in the Torah, a.k.a. the Old Testament, a Jewish Bible. So we can learn a lot from the, from the, from the Jewish Bible, and we see throughout that that is an important point to understand that we have to, and God has to, give in his altruistic nature souls, food, good deeds, so that we can improve mankind uh, at his demise to, to earn a, uh, a good mark. Now, that, that was uh, Lenoch and, and and Moshe, uh, and, excuse me, and um, Noah came to the, to the fore, and he was given seven commandments, right? And there was one God, God of, uh, one God, and uh, do not blasphemy the name, treat it with respect, no adultery, uh, no murder, no stealing, set up. Uh, the, the court system uh, and and uh, and and uh, uh, being kind to animals. So those are the seven mitzvahs. So we have to uh, follow them like we would be, because they're incorporated in in the, in the Torah. So uh, uh, Noah tried to stop the slide, uh, but he wasn't successful and. Uh, they, the the world continued uh, back into its old old ways again. The humanity. So God created a uh, a new force to counter the activities of of uh, Lemach and 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 humanity, which is going in, in bed. Uh, it's going into a very bad uh, avenues, and uh, he he saw the the uh, resume of Abraham, who on his own, on his own, figured out the Torah, the oral Torah, and and that's that you can look. You should have a pen, and look at in Genesis uh, twenty six five, and God. And, and God gave to, to Abraham the ability to learn out the oral Torah. And 26.1 to 26.5, 26.1 to chapter 26, 1 to chapter 26, 5, Isaac was in the land of, of Gerar, which is present-day, which is present-day uh, Gaza. And God told Isaac to look around from where you are, and all the lands that you see will belong to you and your descendants, and which he did. And God gave him that because and, and his descendants that is lands of Gaza because, because Abraham on his own figured out the the oral Torah. Figured out the oral Torah. And that was his reward. So uh, in addition he gave all the the, the, the nations of uh, 
uh, of Canaan over to, to the Jewish people because they were committing human sacrifices. And he drove them out and gave the land to, to the Jewish people, to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob and, and, their, and their descendants. So, God gave uh, the, uh, the ability to counteract the downhill slide uh, by giving the, the Torah to, to uh, the Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, like we say every morning in the prayer. Uh, um, yeah, it, it says God made a covenant with uh, Abraham, he made a uh, oath with Isaac, and he made a immovable chok law for Jacob that they should uh, should inhabit the land as as God's as God's chena essence will dwell amongst them, and they they they, they followed and lived by these precepts of the Torah so that they will live a moral life and more importantly gain soul food for the next world, right? Soul food, S-O-U-L. And you feel the soul when you do a good deed, when you do, do a commandment. Um, and that's what happened. When, um, when, when, when we get a, a good uh, commandment, like, um, like for instance, I'll give you a kasha, a, 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 a commandment, and see what you think of it. You know, we just recently read about the, um, the spies who gave a negative report about the land of Israel. And you wonder how they gave such a negative report. Because after all, the, the whole civilized world had fear of the Jewish people. We say every day in Oz Yashir how the, the Philistines were feared greatly. The chiefs of Edom were besides themselves. Even a generation later, Rachav of the... Uh, of Jericho, she was. Uh, she said that uh, when when the two look read the book of Jericho uh, of Joshua, and and you see what happened over there. That she told those Jews that were reconnoitre of the land that the people are afraid of you and and they they will melt in your presence. But she said, do me a favor and save my my family, uh, because we'll, we'll put a, a crimson ribbon in, 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 the, uh, in the window, and, and you will save us. So that's, that's, what she, that's what she did. But the point is, how did they bring a negative report? And listen to this answer. I think the uh, Chabad uh, rabbi uh, Rabbi Schneerson gave this uh, as an uh, 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 this the word Torah because the Jews, these ten leaders of the nations, princes, uh, outstanding, knowledgeable men, gave a negative report because they didn't want to set up a nation. They didn't want to set up a nation. They wanted the succor, the the loving kindness. Of, of God and giving them the, the necessities for, for life and as a result didn't have to, didn't want the burden of setting up a, a, a nation with all the uh, demands that uh, a, a government uh, requires of the people, all the ministries and what have you. They wanted the same status quo, that God should take care of them, right? So that's a kasha and a terror, 
divided ten tribe to so ten gave a negative uh, re re report. And, and I'll give you another uh, kasha. That's one kasha. Another kasha is, you know, we read a couple of weeks ago in the Seder Bahar in Numbers, it said, said over there that talked about Shemitah, given the given these uh, details of the seventh year, how the land should be fallow, no work should be permitted on it. And it gives details about lack it, pay your, the corners of your field, you shouldn't leave over, you should leave, you should leave over, and the gleanings, uh, the, it's for the poor, and the animals can eat whatever they want, and you have to check on the animals if there's enough food outside, so that if not, you have to bring it inside. It's all kind of details of Shemitah. Why of all the mitzvahs was Shemitah given at this uh, part of, of the Torah? Why was it given? And the answer is, just like we, just like whenever we do a commandment or a directive that is written in the Torah, we have to sacrifice that time that we could be doing other things and, and uh, making parnas or taking care of uh, our family, but, but we have to sacrifice that time because we have faith. We have faith that God will reimburse us for it sacrificing for, for sacrificing our time and he will reimburse us. And Shemitah, we have to sacrifice time of the entire year by not working the fields. And we have faith that even though we will not do the fields and and plowing and harvesting, but we have faith that God will reimburse us. We have faith that God will reimburse reimburse us. So, so that's it. But let's get back to uh, Lamach, right? Uh, Lamach gave over those uh, time-consuming business and 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 manufacturing and. And, and, um, and entertainment to at the at the expense of at the expense of of Judaism and good deeds and learning Torah. So God made a covenant to stop that slide, and and even brought the mass. He, and so. So he, he picked Abraham and he made a, a covenant with him, an everlasting covenant, the covenant between the pieces. And, and look it up, the covenant, he, the covenant that he made. And, and still, to reinforce the covenant, he brought the masses of Jewish people uh, at, um, at, at Sinai, uh, to hear the, um, the, the uh, on Shavuos, the sixth of Sivan, to hear the, to hear the Ten Commandments. Nothing was given physically, but the people stood in front of, of Mount Sinai, they heard the, the commandments, and the Hebrew word, ve'ele, and all these, meaning all the, Civil laws, the Ayla, were given at that time. All was given on the sixth of Sivan, and and they were enumerated over there uh, in in uh, Shemos, Exodus. So that that's what and he, and God, God told Moses to to put them in a, in a to read all the, the, this this uh, this teaching that I taught them at Sinai, and he and he read it to them. And then he said, writing in a book, 
Sefer Habaris, the Book of the Covenant, and he concluded all of those those previous teachings in the Book of the Covenant, and 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 he he read it to them. That was on the sixth of Sivan. That was Shavuos, and so the next day he went up. Moses was told to go up to the mountain, and he and he and he stayed on seventh of of Sivan, and he stayed there to the 17th day of Tammuz, a month of Tammuz. That's, that, that is 40 days, 6th to Sivan, to the 6th of, a 7th of Sivan, to the 7th of Tammuz, a month of Tammuz, is 30 days, 10 more days from, uh, is 30 and, 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 and that, that was that, that was 30 days, and this 17th uh, was 17 days later uh, when he saw the people going astray all together 40, 40 days, right? And uh, on the 17th of, of, of Thomas, 10 days from 30 is 40, 6th of Sivan to the 6th of Thomas is 30. Another 10 days, which brings it to the 17th of Thomas, was when Moses came down and broke the, 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 the first uh, tablets, the original tablets that God had, had given him. Uh, so that's a whole uh, a subject in itself. But, it, but in order to stop the slide, he gave them the Sefer HaBris, uh, the Book of the Covenant, and uh, he also um, as, as spoke again to the masses, and, and they said, Nasa Renishma at that time. Nasa Renishma. We will do, and we will learn, and we, we will understand. Meaning, another side of it, that throughout the ages, the leaders of the Jewish people will reinforce the teachings of the Torah through the um, uh, Medrash, right? Another generation uh, used, uh, compiled the Zahar, and then, and, uh, and then we have the, um, the Mishnah, and another generation we have all kind of teachings from, from uh, the, the, the greatest uh, rabbis, the Rambam and Ram, Ramban and the Goyenim period. So, in order to, um, uh, so, and, and we, and we were in, in A2 in Deuteronomy, I afflicted you and tested you to see if you kept the commandments. Again, I afflicted you and tested you to see what is in your heart. Whenever it says heart, it means mind. I afflicted you and tested you to see what's in your in your mind, to see whether you kept the commandments or not. And um, so that's that's what happened. We keep on recalling, emphasizing to the Jewish people, our brothers and sisters, and to all humanity the importance of learning the the Bible that was dictated to to Moses uh, by God to Moses and in Deuteronomy uh, seven uh, seven chapter seventeen uh, I mean I think it's 30, 31, uh, chapter thirty one Deuteronomy seventeen or twenty four thirty one twenty four and um, God will be uh, uh, God will, uh, you will be for, you will be, again, 31, 17 says you will be for devouring if God turns his face from you. You will be for devouring. That's in 31, 17. Write it down, check it out. 31, 17 and 31, 24, God dictated the entire uh, five books of Moses in Deuteronomy, right? Dictated the entire uh, uh, Bible, Jewish Bible we're talking about. 
and and we are to review it constantly reviewing because man has a short memory and that's why we have to learn Torah of all the good deeds that we do Torah learning Torah is more important and uh, to stay on track and and not fall by the wayside like it happened in 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 the time of uh, Lemach, where his sons went after uh, materialism in this world and forgot about Judaism. And that's how we have in recent days before World War II, Germany, where the, where, where the uh, plague started, where our brothers and sisters were, were uh, taken aback and the greatest de defection of Jewish uh, souls uh, to uh, assimilation, intermarriage, idol worshipping, taking over their church and worshipping their man God. So that's what it says. If God hides his face, you will be for devouring. And, and you know, in, in 33, in, in Exodus 33, after they committed the, the sin of the, of the uh, golden calf, God tells them to go forward to the promised land. That I promised your people, 33, 1 in, in numbers, it gives, it gives the delineations of the border. And I will send an angel before you. Because if I, if I go before you by myself, I will annihilate you on the road, or O-A-D. In an instant, I will annihilate you. So I'm sending forth the angel, my angel, to lead you on the way. But Moses said, please, God, we want the status quo. We will behave ourselves, and, and, and we want you to come with us. So God said, okay, okay, I will, I will do as you want, but that's what... That's another thought that, that you should uh, put under your pillow, literally, because where do you get these information from? From the, from the Torah, and you've got to review it constantly. Forget about those old, those old things. Help God, and by helping all people to reinvigorate their soul and improve their soul because as it says in Kehelis, the the soul returns to God who gave it. Now, you see, this is an ongoing, uh, you know, it's, it, and there was a, a Jewish soldier who was killed and says, may God take revenge for his blood that was shed. May God take revenge. We don't take revenge. But our God will take revenge against our enemies. And today, this is marking the third year of the, uh, of, of the war between, uh, uh, the war between Ukraine and, Ukraine and, and Russia. And uh, it, it's the Pale of Settlements. What does it mean, Pale of Settlements? That area, that border between Russia and Ukraine was where the Jews were forced to live. And it's called the Pale of Settlements. They, had a, they threw them out from all the places and they lived in the Pale of Settlements. And then uh, uh, eventually they, 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 they killed, murdered. 33,000 in, 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 in three days machine gunned them. 33,000 they machine gunned. Jewish men, women, and children. Where's the genocide over there? Yeah, and, and who's in charge of that operation? Zelensky, a Jew. A parent of both Jewish. And he's seeing the, the revenge that God has taken against the descendants 
of those murderers, those Russian and and Ukrainian and 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 Germans who machine gunned them. God will take revenge if you hurt the Jewish people. Whoever curses the Jewish people will be cursed, and whoever blesses them will be blessed. And we see it unfold in, in, in our eyes. You know, the, there's, a, I don't know, so, there's, there's a lot to talk about, but one, uh, here, here's, here's a, a map, and uh, over here is a pale of settlements. And it's a pale of settlements where the pale of settlements where uh, the Jews were dumped, and then eventually machine gun at Kiev, right? That's where Bobby Yar is in Kiev, in Kiev, Ukraine, and the Jew Zelensky. He's overseeing it. Not that he realizes what what is what his poor fathers went through. Okay, there's a lot to talk about. There's, there's one nation uh, that uh, is l lovable to the Jewish people, and it's, uh, it, it's, a, it's called the uh, 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 Nishrabi, Nishrabi Indigenous Indian Nation in Ottawa, Canada. Nish, Nish, Nishbari, Nish. Yeah, so they, uh, the, the chief, uh, it's, it's on uh, Arvind Shava, Nish, uh, Nishabli. They have a, um, they're the indigenous original owners of the land. And they have one nation. Uh, Indian one nation and they set up a consulate in in Israel and they love the Jewish people because they know what we're going through and how they took his land and how they took tried to take our land so <clears throat> so much uh, for for that uh, and now we can touch on, on the dates. Well, before that, uh, you know, we have to every day see the wonders that God uh, created. And again, I bring a leaf. This is from the fig tree. I have it in a very conspicuous place because uh, the, uh, the figs uh, don't come out from a blossom but they come out from the stem, from the stem. And uh, there's no blossom. The fig just keeps growing small until it ripens. But look at the, at the transportation system that is bringing all kind of material from the roots all the way to the leaves and to the fruit. Combining that with photosynthesis and and the and and the veins of the leaf bring it to the stem and and bring it to and bring it to the roots that's the photosynthesis that's produced in the in the leaves from the sun 93 million miles away what a miracle these are these are these are things that we should realize and and understand, when I say understand, I think I went through this before, but understand, Nasevanishma, we will do and we will understand. Just like we will understand the, uh, the Torah is explained to us in eighth generation because man has a short memory, right? Has a short uh, uh, memory. Okay. So when we talk about uh, school, look, the, the Jews are uh, to be a light to the, to the nations. And 
we're not aesthetic people like the Dead Sea Scrolls, the Quran, those people who were asceticism and they were cut off from the rest of the civilization and, and learned and studied. But, but we're, we're not like that. We, we have to mingle in with the crowd, maintain our own presence, and by example, show the correct way. So, what was I going to say? So, that's the uh, the aesthetic uh, quality that we we shun, unlike other people that uh, have uh, holy men uh, uh, cluster themselves and uh, uh, speak in the name of religion. But you know, the Haredi, their school system is such that they, they have the secular subjects from 5 to 7 p.m. And uh, the whole day is with uh, learning Torah. Learning, learning Torah. And, uh, you know, I, 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 I dive in a, 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 a Haredi a, a shawl and because of my health condition I couldn't couldn't walk that far on Shabbos. So, so over there, the, the youngsters, they, are, they, they, they don't speak English very well, but they, they know every little detail of the Torah, every little detail. And, and the day schools, they, they don't measure up to them. They don't measure up to them because the day schools have a half a day of learning and then a half a day of secular study. And then they have all kinds of speakers coming to them, politicians and uh, uh, parades and assemblies, well, but, and, and, and graduation. What a farce that is a graduation, kill a whole day. Everyone graduates. What a farce that is that they copied from, from from the Gentile society. Yeah, hooray, you don't have that. So, that, that thing, but the point is, they're not able to, the Haredis are not able, you know, the black hat and the, and the long, and the, and the long uh, payas and, and uh, the strommels that they, they wear and, and all of that. They're not able to, that's, delegate that to, to the outside community uh, and, and they're not fearful to, to, to go in the streets and look like a Jew, right? But the Ashkenazim, they school movement, they, they have, you know, they, 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 they're into both worlds and a, a, a master of none, because when they come back from Israel after a year of study where they work hard, now they start to see what I missed and now I want to go back and review and see uh, what uh, else th there is to learn and different things of why, for instance, the, uh, Abraham descendants went into uh, exile for 400 years. Right off the top of the, of the head they can, they, 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 but the, the English is not good. The English is not good. Only Chabad. No, I, I, I don't, I don't want to switch legions. I mean, we're all together. Uh, but Chabad, uh, I, I, you know, I'm like in the Rebbe business, and uh, um, you know, I have uh, behold the people. Rejoice, O youth! There's another must-have. Rejoice, O youth! By Miller, the same Rabbi Miller. Rejoice, O youth! So that that's what. Uh, that's what we have to do, but but uh, God, uh, we have to, uh, the, you know, Chabad don't mess with Chabad. <laughs> yeah, they're organized, you know. Well, the uh, the Ashkenaz, they produce great rabbis and they pulpit rabbis, but they can't support they can't support a family, so they have to have a half a day, make it a half a day job, and they're beholden to the president. 
They, they can't make their own laws where, where everybody's got to learn Mishnah and Torah, where they got to listen to the rabbi, give a speech, the sermon, and, and you listen to the president of the shul, and you can't put in where all the people are learning. And where are all the people? The rabbis, good rabbis, but they, they're handcuffed. We're a half a day job. They're rabbin, it's a full time job to teach uh, the, the members of the congregation to set up a study halls for them. They are failing miserably. They're failing miserably. But one thing we got to know is that in spite of, of our uh, rejections uh, of God and uh, re revolting against Him, God will never break His covenant with man. That's in, with the Jewish people. That's in Leviticus chapter 26, 44. 26 chapter, look it up, write it down. 26, 44, that uh, in spite of being revolted uh, by them, I will never annul my covenant uh, with them. All right? So, uh, to, except, uh, now, it's a very interesting kasha here. On um, on in numbers, it, it speaks about the numbers and it gives it the numbers of the tribe, the figures that they counted up, and everything was rounded off to hundreds, right? Uh, Forty-seven thousand five hundred, uh, uh, forty-two thousand six hundred, except one tribe, and that was the tribe of God, G A D. He was he uh, was uh, counted forty six thousand five uh, no again forty five thousand six hundred and fifty one fifty one he wasn't rounded off why because God from him came that's a kasha right it's a good kasha you feel good what's that good feeling that's your soul God from him came the prophet Eliyahu Novi, and he will bring back every Jewish soul, just like the, the, the God was counted to every man and woman, so God was, uh, 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 his descendant uh, uh, Eliyahu Novi will bring back every, every man and, and woman. So, yeah, day school, uh, he considered, uh, yeah, so, uh, we, we, we went over this, that uh, reconsider the Yenachim, right, uh, you know, God, uh, Moses was up on a mountain, uh, uh, pleading with God, for Yachel, profusely, up on a mountain, he said to to God, please forgive them. So God answered him, Vayinachem, and I will reconsider. I will reconsider. By the way, we say that on every fast day. God will reconsider our sins, and he will take that great uh, sin that we did uh, on the golden calf. He will give a little bit of that punishment and retribution every time we do a sin, right? So that's Vayenachem, Vayenachem. Um, so uh, we have to remember that we have to work at our, our learning. And every week we, we, we say the, in a portion of, of the Torah because we have to recall it. And, and, and Deuteronomy, we have to recall it in the teachings, like we understood, Nasev and Nishma. We will do and we will understand. All the rabbis of the, uh, of the succeeding generations give us chizuk and beautiful thoughts to keep us in line and not fall prey uh, to, to, the, to the Germans. Now, what, you know, the biggest, uh, now here's a, I have so much things over here, I'm running out. Here, here is a picture of, of 
1982, Joe Biden, Joe Biden with Menachem Begin and, he, and Menachem <laughs> Begin came to uh, Joe Biden, a uh, senator from Delaware, and, and asked for, uh, uh, and, and Biden to threaten him to cut off aid. Menachem Begin replied, Don't threaten us with cutting off your aid. It will not work. I am not a Jew with trembling knees. I am a proud Jew with 4,000 years of civilized history. Nobody came to our aid when we were dying in the gas chambers. Nobody came to our aid when we were striving to create our country. We paid for it. We fought for it. We died for it. We will stand by our principles. We will defend them. And when necessary, we will die for them again. With or without your aid. For the BBC is such an anti-Semitic organization. They just love to, to talk about how the, the poor Gaussians are suffering. And, you know, America, they, they, they bomb Hiroshima, they bomb Nagasaki with A-bombs, and they surrender. Don't tell us that the Jews are, are committing genocide. The, the leaders of these Arabs, if they want to, if they, if they want to uh, worry about their people, surrender. You will give them wonderful terms. But don't say that it's, it's the Jews that are bombing them. They're hiding, they're, they're hiding missiles and bombs in in, in children's bedrooms and, and uh, all kind of underground passages and hospitals and what have you. And, and the BBC keeps uh, fermenting the problem by not saying, give up Hamas, give up Hamas. Look, for peace, they, the Jewish people gave up land. For peace, here, yeah, th th this is, uh, this is, uh, 1967, 93, and 01. 67, they had all this land over here. 93, they gave, they, they gave it back. 93, they were smaller. And, and, and 201, they even set them up in, in, in the Samaria and Judea. And, and now the civil, civilization rule, uh, civilized... Uh, rule in, in, in Samaria and, 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 and Judea. And who was the first one to come out and, and, and criticize Israel? Germany. You're doing a wrong thing. Germany. The ones that invented the gas chambers for the Jews. God will remember you and did in, in absent, absentia try all those all those criminals that that Einzutz group up went around murdering Jews before the before the, the gas chambers. God will remember. God will remember. There, five to seven p.m. That's the, that's the time for secular studies. And the goal is to uh, love to. To learn Torah, love to learn Torah, and the the day schools. There's a half a day session for Torah. He can't do the job right. It's a full time job, and they, and they have to not waste time. And and the pulpit's got to be a place where where the people got to uh, take out their, their 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 books and 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 learn whatever they're learning. We will not be bullied. Yeah. Uh, uh, Bobby, uh, this is a, the 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 woman that defends themselves and and, and the, 
and Israel. Here is the one nation. Let them not worry about Israel and God giving land to them. Let them worry about the United States where they took their land and did not reimburse them uh, for uh, the Ben and Jerry. The, the tribe of Abel was in Vermont. They, they pushed them out of, of, of Vermont over the border to Canada where they still reside. Let Ben and Jerry worry about his, 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 his own house before he criticizes Israel. That Israel was given to, for, to, to the Jewish people and the boundaries were given in the Bible. That's where we stand, not where you're hypocrites and talking about uh, things uh, that uh, uh, don't pertain to you. Yeah, so how do we do? We vote, we vote Republican, we vote Republican. And, and uh, I hope Nikki Haley gets it, but if Trump gets it, I'll vote for him too. Yeah, he did so much for his uh, for the Jewish people. So uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So here's here, here's the land where it was it was divided over there. In Joshua it says over there. Joshua, and I think chapter ten. I'm not sure, but it says. Uh, he was conquering the land, so it, God said, it's enough, you're getting old, I want you to divide what we have. And what was left over? A southwest portion of the land, which is Gaza, southwest. They divided the land for all they had conquered, and uh, didn't have time uh, to, uh, to, uh, to conquer the, 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 the Gaza. So God won't forget. He's, we're conquering it now. That's part of the God-given land, right? And in abstentia, we should, uh, we, 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 yeah, and in abstentia, we, the tribe of Einsatzgruppe, uh, Gruppe, Einsatzgruppe, where, where they went around murdering poor, innocent Jews. God will not forget, right? And here, it's uh, Jews, uh, anti-Semitism. Uh, like four or five times in Toronto, they broke windows in a synagogue, shot at a girls' school. Well, where, where's peace and justice? Canada, worry about your, uh, uh, your, your indigenous people and, and give them the land that you took from them. Don't worry about Israel. And the same thing goes for, uh, uh, for the sin, the uh, nations of Spain, um, Spain, uh, Norway, and, and I stands for uh, uh, Ireland. Oh, Ireland is such anti-Semitic during the Second World War. They wouldn't take any Jewish refugee. That's Ireland. But they're the first to get on a bandwagon to bring the, the, the Jewish nation to, to court and together with Spain. Uh, let, let them, uh, there's a province in Spain like give them their independence, and, and, and Norway, the Quislings, they ran. Yeah. So all of the every time Ben Gavir says every time they set up a, uh, uh, a, a, a nation against us, we'll set up a town uh, in uh, the in uh, Samaria and Judea. But remember, remember the first thing that we taught, and that is a. A Torah chain, Torah chain message. It'll go on just like the chain letter. We'll teach it, right? Look, I love love your neighbor by yourself as yourself, and look at ourselves. We do things that are not so really great, but then we gloss over them. So the same thing is with. Uh, with uh, our neighbors, we look at them and see what they uh, uh, see the bad points and, and gloss over them and, and love them, love every Jew, uh, and, and, and that's a uh, paramount. You know, we're talking about Chabad, they tried to, they, they tried to do a, a, a quickie, or I think it was Atlantic Beach uh, last year. They, uh, Chabad took over a, a bought legally a, a residence which was by the ocean and wanted to set up a Jewish community center there. Not bothering anybody, following the rules and regulation. And by eminent domain, they took that parcel of land 
and said, we need it for the town. Oh, Chabad got the heavy hit of that. They, they, got, uh, they got pro bono. Uh, yeah, they got pro bono, the top uh, attorneys. Uh, and, and, and those Jewish anti-Semites in, in Atlantic Beach, I think it was, they, they have to pay thousands of dollars uh, for the, this gross uh, negligence of, of, of uh, 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 doing anti-Semitism. And, 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 and pay all the people out above for several hundred thousand dollars for, for what they did. So don't mess with Chabad, but the bottom line is, um, uh, uh, the only criticism I have about Chabad is that I, I don't go for, that, uh, for the for the Rebbe pit, and I don't uh, uh, I subscribe to too many sermons. The people have got to work on their own. Get the new book, Rejoice, O Youth. Rejoice, O Youth, by Victor Miller. You got Behold the People, get Rejoice, O Youth. Read the portion of the week in English. Read it every day, a couple words of it. And if you want to get an explanation of those words, look at Rashi or look at the Chumash by uh, Victor Miller. Uh, each portion of the Torah is broken down to give explanation for each thing. Okay, Ta uh, Talmud time is, is uh, we didn't get to Talmud time. You know, uh, you know, Amos I, uh, from uh, from one to one do we read the Shema Yisrael prayer in the evening? From what time? When uh, from the time that the Karni entered to eat their truma. From the time the carney entered to eat the truma. Oh, what time is that? Give me a break. I want a simple answer. It's because the time it varies with the sunset. Okay, look, get the English translation of uh, the Talmud. The first one is called Barachos, Blessings. With that, I'm going to uh, terminate uh, this session of Yeshiva Classroom and tell your friends if they like it, uh, if you like it, to tune in for a few uh, minutes and remember the uh, chain message, the chain message to friends. Let them work on it before they pass it on. Let them work on it before they pass it on. With that, I wish you uh, all the best.